Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. My name is Travis Rose. I'm the creator of the Master the Market Education that you can find linked below in the description. I had a few people asking me recently about candlesticks and different candlestick patterns that we see, whether you're day trading, swing trading, or even longer term investing. So I kind of wanted to just put together this pretty short video to go over some of the basics of candlesticks, the anatomy of what actually makes up these candlesticks, and go over some of the most frequently seen candlestick patterns that I use on a pretty frequent basis as a day trader. So first and foremost, for those of you who don't know, candlesticks are a type of chart style that you can use. And I'm going to be using the Thinkorswim platform with TD Ameritrade. So I'm gonna go over to my platform here, and you can see I already have a candlestick chart pulled up. But to give you an idea of some of the other chart styles that you can actually use, um, all you have to do is go up to the top of your screen. And this is with Thinkorswim, of course, but this is gonna be a pretty similar process regardless of the platform that you are using. Uh, just click on chart style and then chart type and you can see we have bar charts, candles, candle trend, hike and ashy, line, area, and equi volume. So to compare candle charts, for example, to something like a line chart, you can see that the line chart is just one continuous line throughout the entire day. Whereas when we look at something like a candlestick chart, you're gonna have different time frames, of course, but for this example, we are on the one minute one day chart, so that means that each of these candles is gonna represent one minute of price action, and every single minute, a new candle is going to open and then close before a new one forms. So when these candles open and close, we know that they're going to have movement in between that open and close, and because of that, they're gonna form also a high and a low. So these candlesticks are made up of four main points, being the open, high, low, and close. Now, of course, when we're looking at a green candlestick, all that means is that the candle closed at a higher price than it opened for that specific period of time. On the other side of the spectrum, red candlesticks simply mean that the candle closed at a lower price than it opened. And for some terminology, the colored part of these candlesticks are actually known as the real body. So the real body, again, is that colored section of the candlestick. That's gonna be the most dominant part. And then you're gonna also see two lines sticking out from the top and the bottom of your candlesticks. And that line sticking out from the top is known as the upper wick, also commonly referred to as the upper shadow. And all that does is show us the highest point that the price went within that candlestick before it closed. The lower wick is the line that sticks out from the bottom of the candlestick, and that's gonna show us the lowest point that the price went before that candlestick closed. So again, like I mentioned while we were over on the Thinkorswim platform, we were looking at the one minute, one day chart, which means that it was showing us an entire day of price action, but each candle was only representing one single minute of price action. So these candlesticks can represent price action over really any defined period of time. You can look at shorter time frames like the one minute, the five minute, the 60 minutes, uh, or longer time frames like an entire day, an entire week, or even an entire month, and so on and so forth, and really any time frame in between. And because of that, you're gonna see these candlestick patterns forming on many different time frames, which is exactly why it's so important to understand them, and which is exactly why you can use them for day trading, swing trading, or even longer term investing. The thing that you need to keep in mind is that a pattern on a one minute chart, for example, is going to be used for a short term day trade rather than a longer term investment. On the other side of the spectrum, a pattern formed on the one day chart would most likely be used for a longer term position that you would likely hold for at least a few days, even up to a few weeks or longer. Now getting into some candlestick analysis here, what the candlesticks themselves actually can show us is the real time supply and demand for a stock. Supply and demand is actually the sole reason that stocks move up and down. When a stock is moving up, that simply means that there's more demand for that stock than there is supply, meaning that there's more buyers lined up then there are sellers, and when a stock is moving down, that simply means that there is a stronger supply, then there is demand, meaning there's more sellers than there are buyers. So when we look at candlesticks themselves, once you know what to look for, you can realize that they actually show us a little bit about the supply and demand for the stock within a specific period of time. So if we look at the red candle on the left side of the screen, you can see that there's a very long upper wick on that candlestick, and that tells us that the stock within that candlestick spiked up pretty high, but somewhere before the candle closed, sellers took control and pushed the price all the way back down and actually pushed it back below where the candlestick opened. 
So that tells us that at that price or up near those highs, there's a lot of selling pressure and there's a lot of supply. With a green candlestick like the one we see on the right, there's clearly a very long lower wick and that tells us that down at those prices, there's a lot of demand for the stock and there's a lot of buying pressure. And many times we can use this information to actually form entries and exits on our trades. And one way that we can do that is we can look for reversal points in the market. These candlesticks can actually be a clear indication of a reversal and that many times is going to allow us to get into a trend at the very beginning of it and profit from the stock's reversal. So for example, once you start seeing long upper wicks on candles, when the stock is in an uptrend, that many times can be a bearish reversal sign. So a bearish reversal simply means that that is going to reverse to the downside. And if we look at the diagram down at the bottom, this is something that we see very commonly as day traders, swing traders, or investors. We'll start to see very long upper wicks on these candlesticks when a stock is at the top of an uptrend and about to reverse back down into even a downtrend. So if you're in a position and you bought shares and you start to see all these long upper wicks and you're in the profit on your position, many times this can be a good indication to sell and lock in some of your profits and even potentially look to short sell to profit from the reversal to the downside. Now the same is going to be true for stocks that are in a downtrend. Once you start to see a lot of long lower wicks on candles, when the stock is in a downtrend, this can many times be a bullish reversal sign, which allows us to spot an area where buyers are taking control of the stock, and many times can be a great opportunity for us to buy into the stock and profit from that bullish reversal. And I just wanted to include a real life example of this. You can see the stock symbol TRC here. Uh, there's a very clear line of resistance on this stock at about $18.75. And you can see that on three separate occasions, the stock spiked into that resistance level. And all three times, the stock formed some long upper wicks on the candles before having a strong reversal to the downside. Now, another way that we can spot reversals in the market by using our knowledge of candlesticks is by looking for what are known as doji patterns. A doji is a candlestick with virtually the same open and close price, often again indicating a reversal in the market. And if you look at the examples down at the bottom, you can clearly see that doji look very different from a regular candlestick because there's really no real body to the candle and it's mostly formed by just long upper and lower wicks. So on the left example, you can see the stock is moving up, which could be considered an uptrend. And then you see that there's a doji formed with a long upper wick, again showing us that there is probably some selling pressure at that price because the stock failed to hold up near its highs and came all the way back down to where that candle opened before it closed. And that's going to indicate to us that there is potentially a bearish reversal going on, which would allow us to sell out of our position and even look to open a short position. And in the right example, the same is going to be true. Uh, this time we have a downtrend though, and before we see that it reverses to an uptrend, you can see that there is a nice bullish reversal doji formed with a very long lower wick, showing us that buyers are taking control of the stock. And again, here is just a quick real life example of this. Uh, you can see that before the doji is formed, there is a bit of a downward move. Then the doji does form again with a long lower wick. Buyers start to take control. The stock consolidates a bit in that area. And then from there, once it starts to break out, we see a very strong move up. So the last type of candles that I want to go over in this video are what are known as engulfing candles. An engulfing candle happens when the real body of a candle covers or engulfs the entire real body of the previous candle. And there are two types of these engulfing candles. The first of them is what are known as bullish engulfing candles. And this is going to be a bullish reversal pattern, often forming at the end of a downtrend. And what this looks like is if you take the example at the bottom, you can see that the real body of the green candle completely covers or again completely engulfs the entire real body of the previous red candle. And again, this can show us that the price action is reversing to the upside. And many times this can be a good opportunity to buy into the stock. Or if you happen to be in a short position in this stock, it may be a good indication that you should cover your short position and lock in your profits before the stock starts to bounce back up. Now, the other type of engulfing candle that we see are going to be bearish engulfing candles. And this is just going to be a bearish reversal pattern forming many times at the end of an uptrend and is going to indicate to us many times that the price action is reversing to the downside. 
allowing us to sell out of our long positions and lock in our profits near the top, or even open a short position to profit from that bearish reversal and profit from the stock then moving down from that area. So just to show you a real life example of this, uh, we have the daily chart here for the stock symbol ROKU. And you can see that this started off with a big gap up on the daily chart uh, from about $100 per share all the way up to the following day, um, about $125 per share it hit. Um, and from there, it trended all the way up to about a high of 175. And right there at 175 in this box here, you can see that this red candle completely engulfs the entire real body of the previous green candle, showing us that there is a bearish engulfing here. Um, and what we see from that area is then the price falls from that 175 level all the way back down to about $100 per share. So that really just goes to show you how effective these candlestick patterns can be. Um, and this was a great example of a bearish engulfing pattern and would have allowed anybody that invested into the stock earlier in the week or even earlier in the month to lock in their profits there at the top and even potentially switch over to a short position to profit from that move back down to $100. So that is going to be the basics of some of the candlesticks and candlestick patterns. Keep in mind there are plenty of other candlestick patterns. We went over the engulfing patterns. There are also bearish and bullish tweezers. There are evening stars, hammers, inverted hammers, morning stars, shooting stars, spinning tops, three black crows, three inside down, three inside up, three white soldiers, and so on and so forth. In this video, I did just want to cover some of the basics and go over some of the most commonly seen candlestick patterns. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel because I will be doing a lot more content like this. And I'm even going to go over some of these other candlestick patterns in more detail in another future video. Also, if you found this video helpful, I highly recommend you check out my website link down below in the description. It's called Master the Market. Um, and on there we have eight total courses with over 15 hours of content, 70 practice quizzes and much more. There are courses going over day trading, swing trading, and even longer term investing. And you're actually able to get all of them together in a bundle if you're interested in doing that for a 50% discount. Or you can look into some of the individual courses themselves. And again, if you like this video, then I think these courses will be very, very helpful for you. And so far, I've had a lot of positive feedback on them. You can actually read some of the reviews here on the reviews page. And if you have any questions about it, go over to the support page and you can read some of the frequently asked questions and even reach out and ask questions to me personally, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. But anyway, again, I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.